Being around the most creative people in the industry is where we wanted to be. But what we love most of all is taking everything that we've learned over the last 14 years, whether it's fashion or photography or all of our wedding and event experience, and bringing it to you each and every week. Hello and welcome to Notes from the Lightbox. I'm Stephanie Boy, and today I am joined by Tyler <laughs> and Cooper, Cooper and Dakota. Dakota. And we are doing Wedding Wrap Up. So the important thing that we want to tell you about today is lighting for your ceremony. And we bring this up because so many times a bride and groom will be just inches away from perfect light on their ceremony um, position. For example, um, we have a photographer in the studio who got married and he went to his ceremony site a week before and found the perfect lighting. Um, the perfect lighting location where they had great shade and there wasn't too many hot spots coming through with light. That's really important. If you can go to your ceremony location a week beforehand and look at it and see, okay, maybe traditionally they're doing the ceremony here, but you know if you move 10 feet over this way, everybody's gonna have shade on their face. Tyler sees this a lot at weddings. It's very frustrating for a photographer to have an outside wedding where it's gorgeous and the sun is in the wrong position. And maybe the bride's face is in direct sun and the groom's is in shade. So there's a big exposure difference, and it's very frustrating. And it, it's as simple as just maybe the, the priest going, just move this way just a little bit behind this tree and she'll be perfect. Um, so that's just a little conversation that you could have with the priest. Um, and even just like when you're researching your location, just knowing that if you find the trees and you find shade, which is gonna provide the best light, do it, because it's really gonna change your picture. Yeah, and the thing is is that you can't expect that the priest or the officiant is going to know this, but you having more information is really helpful because you can go there and you can say, you know, I know this is where we really do it, but can we move closer to you? Can we move further? And you feel the light on your face. You know, just remember that if a photographer is doing the picture of you and you're in full sun, he can expose her properly. If he's shooting your groom and he's in shade, he can expose her properly. But when he's trying to do a shot of the two of you together, it's gonna to be a little bit more challenging if one of you is full sun and one of you is right. full shade. So you really do have to think about it. Whether you're in a church or whether you're outside, just look, because even at an altar, you can move six inches one way or another to get out of the sun. So anyway, I hope that helped. I hope that you are looking at your ceremony location, and I hope you will join us at www.notesfromthelightbox.com. Thanks for watching the wedding wrap-up. It's all about the light.